Hi, my name is uh, Kevin Lazarczyk. I've uh, been a Minneapolis police officer for 31 years now, and I had the honor of attending War Horses for Veterans uh, in December of 2023. And to say that it was a life-changing experience would be a vast understatement. Uh, what I brought to the table with me when I came down to the ranch was 30 years of uh, built-up trauma as a police officer in Minneapolis, um, 53 years of personal um, issues that I had. Uh, I had. My mental health was overall fairly poor at the time when I went to the ranch. Um, I was having some relationship problems, um, specifically with one of my daughters, uh, and that was uh, on my mind for a long time. Um, and I just felt like even though I had done different types of therapy over the years, I just felt like something was missing. Um, and the first day when I met everyone, I could feel like everyone cared and it was very non-judgmental. Um, and I could just see that everyone was truly vested in this experience and vested in us getting as much as we possibly could out of this experience. And the first day, um, when I was in the round pen, to say that it was a life-changing moment for me would be a very big understatement because it was. It was when I spoke earlier about missing something. When I felt that horse and that horse was responding to the way I was pressuring him and my how my negative energy was affecting that horse and causing it to, to react a certain way just made me realize that how my anger at times and how my poor mental health was affecting everyone around me and it seeing that horse and how it was affected by me just by being six feet away was a game changer and it was a very emotional experience for me and uh, I will for be forever grateful for that ex experience and as the week went on um, we got to know everyone there the, the everyone at War Horses Pat and Andy Brett Jake, Jay, everybody's just, I mean, literally most amazing humans I've met in my life and how they, they can, you can tell they truly care about you. And the guys that I was in the class with uh, from, from other states and it, they, we still, we still talk to each other once in a while to this day and you know, they share in their struggles and share in mine. It was, it was an amazing experience. And, you know, th throughout the entire week, you know, one of the themes it felt like it was just like, you know, we're family, we're family now. And, and I could feel that, I could honestly feel that it was like family down there. And when, when we were leaving, they asked if we could really like explain, you know, what you got out of it and, and you know, like, how did it, you know, if you feel about it. And, and at the time, I don't, I don't think I could actually really say how I, what I got out of it because I don't think I really fully grasp on how much I really got out of it. And looking back a year later, <laughs> it was life changing for me. Understanding that pressure with the horse, that whole week long, it seemed like as I listened, <laughs> the more I let go and the more I trusted that horse, the better off it was for me and the horse. And most cops have a hard time letting go <laughs> and specifically trusting. So. It was really um, a very w a good way for me to understand that pressure, release, letting go, and trusting, and learning to be be okay with this animal and just this amazing animal. And so it was it was a it was a total game changer. And you know they said uh, when we were leaving that you know if you guys ever want to come back and and you know hang out and help out or whatever and and. Uh, you know, you're always welcome. And sure enough, you know, a few months later, I was having a little rough patch at home. And so I called up Brett to see if I could just come down and just, I needed to reset. And he's like, I'll see you when I see you. There was no questions about anything. It was just like, come on down. And I've been down there twice now since I had the class last December. And each time I learned more about myself, I learned more about horses, and just understanding, uh, how I interact with a horse and how I interact with everybody around me. It's been a life-changing experience. And I'm, I'm honored to be asked to come down and mentor uh, a group of cops that are going through there in, uh, in a couple weeks. That's uh, super, super honored and very humbled by that uh, offer.
and I'm super excited to go down. Um, I look forward to really explaining my experiences to other cops that I meet along the way, as I do on a daily basis at work. Um, I've talked to many people in my department about this, this program, um, many of my friends and family. Um, I come across some vets um, and got them interested, and I know they've applied. Um, so everyone that knows me knows that when I start talking about my experience of wars, my whole face just gets lights up, and I'm super happy. And it's just like... I feel like I was given this greatest gift that it's really hard to explain, but it was an amazing gift. And my relationships are better, my mental health is better, uh, my work life is better. I'm overall so much better, and I owe a lot of it to my time at the War Horses and my connections with the animals and specifically the amazing humans that run this organization. So uh, I'll be forever humbled and grateful for the experience and I look forward to helping others and looking forward to getting other people like myself and uh, interested in the program. Thank you. <laughs>